DSS office attacked by hoodlums and INEC office set ablaze in Aqua Ibon. Miscrants have invaded and set ablaze the area office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Essien Udim, local government area of Aqua Ibom State. It was gathered that the incident, which occurred early hours of Sunday, May 2nd, 2021, also saw facilities at the DSS office located close to the INEC office destroyed. The resident electoral commissioner for Aqua Ibom State, Mr. Mike Ngini, who said he received the information Sunday morning, however, noted that he could not yet ascertain whether the perpetrators are still the same members of Eastern Security Network ESN that have been allegedly, allegedly attacking police facility and killing the officers in the local government area. In any case, our office is very close to the DSS office. The DSS office was also attacked, but it was not burnt down. So we don't really know the main target. Investigation is still going on, in Guinea said. When contacted, the police public relations officer, Mr. Odiko McDonald, who confirmed the incident, simply responded, Indeed, we have received the report and we are working on it. This time shall pass. The statement reads, the resident electoral commission for Aqua Ibon State, Barrister Mike Ingini, has reported that our office in SCN Udim local government area has been set ablaze. Our security guard on duty escaped on earth, but the destruction to the building and properties therein was extensive. Items delivered include three, four, five ballot buses, one, three, five voting cubicles megaphones, water tanks, and office furniture. The police, which have also been battling with attacks on its facilities and personnel in the area, are aware of the incident and have commenced investigation. The recent attack on our facility after we have just concluded the inventory of electoral materials nationwide in readiness for the 2023 general election is worrisome. If unchecked, these attacks may constitute a setback on the Commission's preparations, including the ongoing conversation of voting points to polling units, the forthcoming continuous registration of voters, CVR exercise, and the conduct of polls. Nevertheless, the Commissioner wishes to assure Nigerians that we will leave no stone unturned to recover from the incident in Aqua Ibom State as we continue to prepare for all electoral activities. It could be recalled that gunmen suspected to be members of ESN had on May 1st, 2021, also attacked a police station at Ibiaku Untok Okpo in Okono local government area, killing two policemen and set ablaze five patrol vehicles. Similarly, on April 27, 2021, the hoodlums had attacked a police checkpoint at Ika local government area and killed two policemen including a woman police copra hmm this is so 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 interesting now they are they are still blaming the eastern security network that they are the one perpetrating this evil act by burning police stations like uzo demand said in emo state that it was the uh, eastern security network uh, indigenous people of biafra that are perpetrating the attack all over emo state now after which uh, Uzodima accused the ESN, he, he launched an attack on the commander of IPOB and he was killed in the process. But Uzodima now cannot even stay in his uh, uh, well, country home, cannot even stay in Imo state, he couldn't stay. He's now ruling all the way from Abuja. But the fact is that if you don't have any evidence against anybody, you don't tell the public or on social media that a uh, suspected Eastern Security Network uh, are still perpetrating evil, are still you know, destroying government properties. Because if this is not a hate speech or defamation of character, there will still be war. Because you are, you are telling us that the ESN are responsible without facts. So many people have been reacting online saying why would every attack in the southeastern part of Nigeria uh, be attributed to indigenous people of Biafra. Somebody said, I don't know what these Anang people are actually looking for. They are showing their animalistic tendency, making others to believe that 
all aqua ibumites are violent they are all unfortunate set of idiots is the same eastern terrorist group attack why would they always blame the eastern terrorist group terrorist group aqua ibum el elders must rise up and condemn in entirety the in entirety the invasion of the state by the instant security network enough of the rubbish from the misguided Igbo youth whose brains have been hypoheard by the by that of imbecile called Namdi Kanum alias Albino I totally detest the ways of that good so many people are against Namdi Kanum the indigenous people of Biafra they said they have been perpetrating evil all over the southeastern states or the south south Ita uh, south south states in Nigeria they have been attributing them uh, to them as terrorists and meanwhile they are just you know agitating for a good governance and a referendum they are agitating for good governance like i said the indigenous people of biafra have been proscribed terrorists even by the presidency the president has proscribed them as a terrorist just as boko haram let's shut down nigeria let all ballot papers and boxes be burned be burned down there is no more Nigeria. We only have UK's Royal Niger Company, headed by their favorite Northern Boko, Boko, Ari, Boko Aram as their chief executive officer. Why would they always accuse uh, indigenous people of Biafra? But on my own opinion, I believe, you understand, if you don't have any facts and you don't have any evidence against somebody, they would say uh, suspected, uh, suspected uh, Eastern Security Network, like it's being read. That the recent attack on our facility after we have just concluded the concluded inventory is so worrisome and if unchecked this attack may constitute a set setback and the suspected uh, eastern security network are the one perpetrating this evil and i'm not really sure if that is true but what i'm reading here is that the electoral office which is the dss office attacked and uh, INEC office set ablaze in aqua Ebon. They say Miss Grant that are supposed to be Eastern Security Network. They are the suspected, you know, gang and group that could do this act. Well, I don't know what you think about the Eastern Security Network, and I don't know what you think about the indigenous people of Biafra. And I would like you to lay your thoughts and also don't forget to go to the comment section and lay whatever comments you want to lay. Because now he said the resident electoral commission for Aqua Ibom State, Mr. Mike Nguyeni, who said he received the information Sunday morning, however, noted that he could not yet ascertain whether the perpetrators are still the same members of Eastern Security Network (ESN) that have been allegedly allegedly attacking police facilities and killing the officers in the local government area. So he said he cannot ascertain. But so many people have been concluding that it is the work of the Eastern Security Network. We need to make our findings. I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV7. And don't forget to share this news so that others can be aware. Thank you for listening and God bless.